Okay, the second, uh, the third, excuse me, the tragedy that occurred on Tisha B'Av was the destruction of the second Beit HaMikdash. Second Beit HaMikdash was built by Ezra and Nehemiah after the Jews returned from the Gaulus of Babel. It lasted for 400 years. It was threatened during the times of the Greeks when uh, during the Hanukkah story, but it lasted. And then when the Romans came, they felt that the Beit HaMikdash was the center of Jewish life. And by destroying the Beit HaMikdash, they would destroy the backbone of the Jewish people. The Jewish people were punished for not keeping uh, the mitzvot, especially, especially not making a brach on Berch HaSatorah, which showed that they didn't recognize the mitzvah involved in Torah study and how Torah came from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, um, and for not treating each other properly because of sinat chinam, baseless hatred, the second Beit HaMikdash was destroyed. The Beit HaMikdash, again, is just a building. It's not the Beit HaMikdash that's important, but the Beit HaMikdash was a sign that HaKadosh Baruch Hu was protecting us, that his divine presence um, was providentially looking out for us, um, and that disappeared with the destruction of Beit HaMikdash. And it's not so much that we're remembering something that occurred in the past, but it's rather recognizing the fact that if we have if we had corrected at any point the behavior of our ancestors, then we would see the rebuilding of the Beit HaMikdash. But the fact that it's not rebuilt tells us that we're still just repeating that, those same sins of not taking Torah study as serious and not uh, and, and still having the divisions of baseless hatred amongst our people.